366 Days with Wisdom by Venerable Master Xingyun. May 26. Pass on life education with wisdom. Guide juniors with experience. Develop life with cultivation. Analyze the future with virtue. Chinese education believes that a strict master produces highly qualified students and a strict master's teachings are highly regarded. When we visit a temple, we usually see that the Veda Bodhisattva statue is portrayed holding a Vajra, a powerful divine weapon. Whereas the Maitreya Bodhisattva statue is portrayed with a smiling face. This means that both strictness and loving kindness are equally important both in educating sentient beings and in parental guidance for children. In Western education, Parents may let their children sleep outdoors when they are one or two years old. They may also place the kids in the swimming pool and teach them survival skills. When they grow up, they are urged to take up jobs such as washing cars or dishes to develop their capacity for self-reliance. This does not mean that their parents do not love them. Instead, their parents hope that they would be able to withstand the trials even in rainstorms and become useful people. A common saying states that reprimand produces filial sons and pampering produces spoiled and rebellious kids. It would be difficult to nurture outstanding children without strict and compassionate parents. Similarly, there would not be outstanding disciples if there was no training. Reprimands and through training are neither good nor bad. It all depends on the quality of each individual. Would others pamper us or reprimand us? It depends on others' perception of our ability. Read, reflect and act. It would be difficult to nurture outstanding children without strict and compassionate parents. Please tune in same time tomorrow as we meet on air.